Hello everyone, welcome back to Trade Masters channel where we take the toughest of stocks with the simplest technical patterns. So it's been a long time since I uh, posted an analysis video in our YouTube channel, so sorry about that. I've been uh, uh, you know, not feeling well for the past couple of days, but uh, I'm all right now and uh, we're going to post regularly, maybe at least uh, one or two videos a week that should uh, you know, uh, cover up your investment uh, journey. And uh, so this is the first video of uh, uh, the November month. All right, so today we're going to look at uh, Power Finance Corporation and uh, it's uh, a segment that is owned by the government of India. So it is uh, owned by the government of India. And uh, like the name suggests, these guys are majorly into uh, finance. So it's uh, into uh, infrastructure financing and uh, they are majorly into financing government projects. So and that too these guys are financing only into the power segment right so if you look at uh, you know the products uh, what kind of services uh, pfc provides they are into uh, providing loans at the same time they are into financing the purchasing of power equipments and uh, into manufacturing and uh, they are they basically they provide uh, finance for different type of power projects right and if you look at uh, and if you look at the journey of PFC, basically these guys have supported almost 25 percentage of uh, renewable energy that is that has been installed in India, and almost 56 percentage of uh, PFC is being controlled by the government of India, and roughly around the remaining 30 to 35 percentage is you know, you know it's owned by the FIS and DIS. So basically, around only 10 percentage is being owned by the general public and uh, that shows how much uh, strong pfc is and uh, not to mention it is backed by the government of india so uh, basically this particular kind of a company is bound to grow in the near future and not to mention the energy resource in india is just in the booming stage so we still haven't uh, you know uh, been completely uh, into a developed kind of an energy nation so it's still a growing infrastructure and that is where pfc made, plays a major role and uh, you know, coming in the coming forth, a lot of uh, infrastructures is going to be built based purely on energy models. And PFC is going to be financing <coughs> each and every single energy model. They are going to play a major role in the infrastructure development of India. All right. So that being said, the future of this company is really good. And not to mention, these guys have provided the consistent dividends for the past uh, ten years, and uh, these guys are also paying good amount of dividends as well. So if you look at uh, uh, the previous uh, years, on an average basis, they are generating almost 20 to 25 percentage dividends with a face value of uh, 10 rupees per share. So that's a pretty good dividend ratio. All right. So that being said, let's dive into the technical chart. So this is a four-hour time frame that I'm showing up here. And as you can see, uh, the stock recently made a high of almost like 564, and from there it plummeted almost uh, down to 430. So if you calculate from the returns perspective, the stock has plummeted almost close to 25 percentage. So that's a pretty good drop in this particular company. And uh, right now I see kind of a reversal over here. So here you can see it has been a consistent uh, downtrend over here. And uh, right now the stock is uh, trying to take a U-turn and hopefully the stock is going to reach around uh, 560 and 570 in the coming few days and weeks. So this is where we are going to analyze PFC. And uh, based on this prediction, we are going to uh, enter into a particular trade and we can make good amount of returns uh, if the prediction goes well. All right. So first things first, let me plot the support and resistance. So over here, this particular zone is going to mark as a strong level of support for me. So you see over here, we see a support over here, support over here. Once again, support over here, support over here and support over here. And the stock recently took support over here. Now coming to this particular zone, the stock reversed before uh, you know touching the support. The reason is we also have a small level of support over here. So you see this particular point. So this was the earlier support, and a new support was actually formed over here. And the stock is actually reversing from the new support that is formed previously. That is around the 420 to 425 levels. We have a good level of uh, new support that is that was formed uh, around uh, June 2024. The stock took support over here and it is reversing. So we can, uh, it is clear that the stock has, uh, you know, uh, fallen considerably and uh, it's the right time for the stock to move up. And we also uh, see that Nifty is holding support and uh, this particular company can move, move along with the Nifty in the coming few days. All right. 
So that's it on the support and resistance levels. Now coming to the technical pattern that is formed, I see kind of an inverted head and shoulder pattern that is formed over here. Now this is not a textbook inverted head and shoulder pattern, but we can still consider this as an inverted head and shoulder pattern. And uh, as you can see today, we see a clear cut breakout in PFC. So the breakout zone was uh, set to be around 465 to 470 levels. So this particular zone is going to mark the breakout zone. So this is where the neckline is over here. And from here today, the stock gave a beautiful breakout and it went all the way high till 490. And the closing price of uh, PFC as on today is 480 rupees per share. All right. So this zone that is around uh, 465 to 470 is going to mark as a breakout zone. And uh, my buy price, once again, over here is going to be buy and dip still 465. So the current market price of the stock is 480. So we still have almost 15 to 20 points, uh, 465 to 470. So that's basically 10 to 15 points difference between the current market price and our best buying zone. So my investment strategy, once again, over here is going to be buy and dip still 465. So that is going to be my investment strategy. And uh, coming to the targets. So I'm going to keep a set of three targets for this particular uh, stock. So my first target is going to be around 500 and my second target is going to be around 530 and my final target is going to be around 560. So that's basically the previous high over here. So these are the three targets what I'm going to freeze for uh, Power Finance Corporation. And uh, this is going to be a short term investment. So within a period of let's say two to three months, I'm looking at a returns of roughly around 20%. So let me calculate the returns as well. Around here is going to be my best point zone and this is going to be my final target. So I'm looking at the returns of roughly around 20% each. Right, so that's a pretty good returns for an investment period of uh, three months. And uh, this is a good stock. And in case uh, if the stock is taking a little bit more time to achieve our targets, do not falter. It's a very stable stock and you can also keep the stock in your portfolio for a long term viewpoint as well. Obviously, you'll be making good amount of returns from dividends itself. And uh, not to mention the face value of the stock is around 10 rupees per share. So in case if there is a split or uh, in case if the company is giving bonus, that is going to be an added uh, advantage for you for holding the stock for a longer period of time. Right. Now, as I mentioned in the earlier part of this video, India is still a booming country and the infrastructure that is the power infrastructure has still a long way to go. And the uh, power finance corporation, since being a finance kind of an industry, and backed by the government of India, it is going to benefit hugely from the you know development period of India. So the next 20 years is going to be a crucial role for PFC and it is going to be a crucial role for the development of India. And that is why I am super bullish on this company, you know, for the short term as well as on the long term perspective as well. All right. So, yeah, that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on PFC. I hope this video was useful and I hope you learned some informative things from this video. If you like my analysis, please do click on the like button. And if you really want to support our channel, please do consider subscribing to our channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, it's bye from Chris. Take care. Bye-bye. And thank you for watching.